this is the sad story of Eleanor Jones. Eleanor is spending a few days at the hospital. She really didn't intend to come to the hospital, but just a few days ago, something happened. Eleanor decided to clean the top of the kitchen cupboards. There was a stepladder in the basement, but Eleanor just didn't want to take the trouble. Careful, Eleanor, careful. So Eleanor has a chance for some extra reading. Uh, what are you reading, Eleanor? Yes, Eleanor has learned her lesson, but how about you? Do you know how to play safe in the kitchen? One of the first things to remember is to arrange your kitchen as conveniently and as efficiently as possible. In this way, you avoid those extra steps which cause fatigue and thus reduce the possibility of an accident. Store the things you use near the place you intend to use them. And by all means, store poisons, extra matches, and other dangerous items far above the reach of children. Keep those cupboard doors closed. A bump on the head probably won't send you to the hospital, but it will be painful just the same. Small accidents will happen occasionally, but don't let them become major ones. Wipe up that grease spot immediately before you have a chance to forget about it. A knife is a dangerous weapon if not treated with the proper respect. Strangely enough, a sharp knife is less dangerous than a dull one. Since less force is required to use a sharp knife, it is less likely to slip. Whenever possible, use the knife so that the direction of force is away from the body. Then if the knife should slip, it'll do no great damage. And keep those fingers out. If possible, store knives in a knife rack. It is safer and more convenient, and also protects the edge from contact with other utensils. This is the wrong way to wash knives. They should be washed separately and one at a time. If you lose a knife in the dishwater, you're likely to find it the hard way. Be sure to treat even small injuries immediately to avoid danger of infection. And while we're on the subject of knives, they just weren't the edges to cut fingers. Many excellent foods are preserved in glass containers. should break, throw the food away. No matter how safe it may be, the danger of broken glass fragments is great to be disregarded. No kitchen is complete without a range, but there are right and wrong ways to use one. With a pilot light, lighting the bell, but make sure that the gas actually does ignite. If it doesn't have a pilot light, Light your match before turning on the gas. Before light minutes. This way you allow any accumulated gas to escape and prevent a possible explosion. After this time has elapsed, light and insert the match. Then turn on the gas. A handle projecting over the edge of the stove can easily cause this. Keep the handles on your pots and pans tight and in good condition. A loose handle can cause many a spill. A screwdriver kept in the kitchen will be handy for keeping things in good repair. A good way to keep a handle in good condition is to keep it away from the lighted burners. Use a dry pot holder that is large enough to protect your hand, yet not large enough to extend into the frame. A wet holder conducts heat very readily. When removing the lid from a pan likely to contain steam, tip the lid in such a way as to direct the steam away from your body. 
Foods fried in deep fat are delicious, but certain precautions should be observed in their preparation. The mistakes usually made are filling the pan too full and is at a temperature 200 degrees hotter than boiling. Any water clinging to the food boils vigorously. This is likely to carry the fat over the side where it may ignite. Pour the fat into a large container. Large enough so that the fat is at least three inches from the top. Keep the food as dry as possible. Remember, it's the water that causes the bubbling. And just in case, keep a reliable fire extinguisher in the kitchen at all times. What's wrong here? All the burners are turned off. Ah, but don't forget, this stove has a pilot light. Don't leave papers or potholders near it, or this will happen to you. When plugging in or removing any electrical appliance, be sure your hands are dry. Wet skin conducts electricity much more readily than dry skin. Therefore, the danger of shock is much greater when your hands are wet. Here is a dangerous situation. Keep those electric cords where no one can trip over them. If you use any of the many kinds of special equipment designed for the kitchen, be sure to read the manufacturer's recommendations for safe operation and follow them closely. It is not sufficient to follow the advice of some friend who ought to know. Consult your instruction book and get the correct information. When it becomes necessary to climb, do a safe way. The few dollars you pay for a ladder are well spent in terms of convenience and safety. Remember Eleanor Jones? Eleanor will be released from the hospital in a few days, and when she gets out, she is determined to stay out. Eleanor had to go to the hospital to learn her lesson, but you don't have to. Remember, it pays to play safe in the kitchen.